Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be doing something a little different. Instead of creating and machining, I will be saving and fixing this beautiful Land Rover Series 3 I have recently bought. This vehicle is one of my all time favorites and couldn't help but bring it back to life. Today, I will be doing the basics to get it running and to see what condition the engine is in. I've managed to get all the basic service parts to get a good indication on how it will run. This vintage Land Rover has just turned 50 years old and under current UK laws, it is tax and MOT exempt. After 15 plus years of being sat and unloved, I thought I would treat it for its 50th birthday. I plan to completely restore this vehicle in the future. However, in today's video, I will just be doing the basics to get it up and running safely without damaging the engine by carrying out some vital checks such as changing the oil and filter. I will also be removing the rocker cover and inspecting the valves and making sure they're not seized and there is no corrosion. Then I will clean it all up and reassemble the rocker cover with a new gasket. Removing the spark plugs and inspecting each cylinder with a scope camera for corrosion before applying oil to each cylinder and replacing with new spark plugs. To start, I would like to share with you the condition of the vehicle that I received it in. As you can see, the engine bay is a great example of a two and a quarter petrol Land Rover Series 3, fully unmolested petrol engine. There is some surface rust, but nothing too bad considering the age of the vehicle. Everything is pretty much where it should be, with no cable ties or duct tape repairs. I'm very happy with the condition. For the ease of the job, and to demonstrate the sheer simplicity of a Land Rover, I will just remove the bonnet. It's very easy, all you've got to do is remove one split pin at the front of the bonnet and lift it up straight. It is a two person job to make it easy and also you can see that the bonnet will need some work at a later date. Before I go any further under the engine bay, the oil needs to be drained from the sump. Doing this first will allow time for it to drain fully. Now the oil has been drained out the sump, we are just using a leaf blower to blow most of the debris out of the engine bay before we remove anything. Now most of the debris is out of the way, I'm going to remove the oil filled air filter. The main housing is held by one clamp and one wing nut. The air pipe is held by one Jubilee clip and there is also a breather pipe that you've also got to remove another Jubilee clip from that goes to the top of the rocker cover breather. Now the air filter housing and air intake pipes are all out of the way, I can remove the rocker cover. It's a very simple design. All you've got to do is crack off three dome nuts and remove three washers and lift it off. I'm going to clean it all up and put a new gasket on because I've obviously got an oil leak. Now I'm just removing the old spark plugs before inspecting the cylinders. Here I'm just lubricating all the moving parts on the top end of the engine. 
Here I've got a brand new gasket, I'm just trying for size. I'm happy with the gasket's fit. I've attached it to the bottom of the rocker cover to make it easier to align it to the vehicle. Here I'm just applying some engine instant gasket just at the top of the rocker cover round the rubber grommet. The rubbers are not in the best condition but I plan to set the tappets on this engine at a later date if it all runs okay. So I will be back in here again. Just a quick visual check inside the air filter housing. Doesn't look too bad. Time to fit the new oil filter. Before I put the housing back on the car, I'm going to prime it so the engine is not running without any oil. Now the oil filter housing has been put back on the car, it's time to put the oil in it. Now to attach the new spark plugs to the HT leads and earth them out and test for a spark. Luckily we've got a good spark on every cylinder. We did have to clean the points up, unfortunately we didn't catch that on camera. I'm just priming the fuel system using the lift pump. The final step before we can see if it will run after sitting for 15 years is just refitting the air filter. Fingers crossed it will start. So the moment of truth, we're about to start running. Thanks to everybody who made it this far through the video, I'm very happy with how the car run in the end. Not bad for 15 years of sitting on somebody's driveway. Machining is my main hobby and my main passion. Fixing cars is just something I do now and again. I've always had Land Rovers and I always will be a keen Land Rover enthusiast. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Thank you for watching.